All right, guys, welcome back here to another video. Poseidon here. Um, today, guys, we're going to be talking about Season 1 Reloaded. Now, if you guys aren't aware, there's a lot of free content. This is all free content for people who own um, Call of Duty Cold War or if you're someone who plays Warzone. Now, as you guys seen recently, there has been some a new weapon, sword, a new operator coming out today, Zena, and the last day of free Call of Duty Zombies. And if you guys seen, you guys have cranked a new zombies mode which is actually pretty fun very intense so if you did play call of duty for free the call of duty zombies for free cold wars uh zombies you pretty much didn't have access to that new game mode that people who own the game and people who don't own the game have um and now the biggest thing in the zombies is called firebase z which is probably probably one of the most interesting maps that i'm really looking at for cold war and guys, this is coming out February 4th, which is really cool. Um, definitely not too far away. So yeah. Now if you look in Warzone, we're getting something called Buyback. We're getting Armored Royale. We're getting Mini Royale and Rumble. Now I think when it comes to Buyback, it's simply just being able to buy back your teammates. Or if you, you have a certain amount of points, you're still able to buy back yourself. Armored Royale seems to be just vehicles only. I don't know how that's going to work. Um... Mini Royale, that's going to be interesting. Rumble, I have no idea what that's going to be about. But we also do see new multiplayer modes. Sniper's only Mosh Pit, seems pretty cool. Dropkick, have no idea what that's going to be. And there's, it's going to be more. Um, we see League Play, I really have no idea what in the world League Play is going to be. Um, I do hope it's going to be something very fun. Hopefully not too competitive or where people are just going to be like camping for KD. As we've seen in Nuketown 24-7. Um, we are seeing new multiplayer maps. Now let's dive more into it though. Now this is Sanatorium. This is a really cool map. Uh, 10 teams of 4 drop in, uh, drop in and face off this experimental sober health retreat based on the Euro planes. Collecting deposit uranium. So it's kind of like the whole... Um, uh, I can't remember that one game we already have. But it's pretty much like that. Looks to be really awesome, guys. I definitely want to give this a try. Uh, definitely, it's a multiplayer thing. I'm not going to lie. Most of the multiplayer in Cold War is kind of, I don't know, like a little empty because there's not that many maps. So that, that definitely would bring me map. Uh, definitely bring me back. Then we see the multiplayer mode dropkick. Looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. Fast-paced 6v6. Where two teams fight for control of a nuclear briefcase. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, Cranked was awesome. New Zombies Onslaught. Um, yeah. Guys, that was Raid. Um, but a new weapon. It's not all bad, but it is... It could be a lot better, though. I'm not going to lie. But it is pretty cool, though. Um, new Operator. That's the new Operator. Okay. The new zombies map. Um. Then they showed Express, and then some new modes. So definitely a lot of stuff. Um. I really do hope. Um. That they continue this in the next season and the seasons ahead, because when it came to December, the first DLC, I believe that was the first DLC. I'm not really sure. Maybe that was just post-launch content. Um, that that got bored really quick. Um, this doesn't look like it's going to get bored real quick. This definitely looks like a bunch of content that we are truly in need of. And I think they realized that this game had a tremendous, tremendous drop in players. A tremendous drop in the, in the player base. It's just very low. Um, you know, I've even, had, I've even seen matches... Completely hard to find. So we are truly, guys, in need of this content. That's why they're releasing it earlier. Um, I think February 4th is the absolute perfect time for a new Zombies map. I do. I think some people are bored of it. The original one, the uh, Die Machine. I think it's fun. Now, I know Call of Duty has changed up uh, lately. It's been extremely tough to play. You know, they... They get repetitive really quick, you know? Like, Modern Warfare 2 is a game where 
even Modern Warfare 3, there are games where you can literally just play like for hours and just feel like it's just not enough, you know? Like you could have, I mean you don't have to play the game every day, but you could definitely like keep playing it year after year after year. Like I mean, I mean I feel like I can hop back into it right now, you know? Like I seen someone making a video of it, man, it just brings back a lot of nostalgia, you know? This game, every Call of Duty game has the opportunity to do that. But I, I really hope this content can, and the bugs, the issues, can, and they're changing, you know, they're doing some stuff. I understand there's a pandemic, that's why the game hasn't really been all that on release. I think that has to do with why the, the story cut short. Because a lot of people know the story kind of cut short, to be honest, towards the end. Um... I just hope that this is a big change and we can at least have more fun and, and maybe that new zombies map, maybe it'll be more difficult because that machine was a little easy. Um, maybe you could just have more things to do in it and that, that definitely means I can put way more hours into the zombies. Um, but hopefully guys, this is good news for you guys. You know, we definitely see new things everywhere, you know, so it's not just the zombies, but we definitely are getting a big map for zombies and, um, this definitely seems to be the biggest free map we're getting for zombies, which is awesome. Normally, we get little maps or small maps like we did in World War and we did in Black Ops 3, I think. We got like little maps, but this looks to be like a real zombies map. And guys, I'm excited for that. That's definitely what I'm really excited for. So guys, um, see you guys in the next video. I'll be diving into more content. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video and hopefully, you guys who own Cold War, are pretty excited about some new content coming out. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate all the support that I've been getting. See you guys in the next video.